doing it okay it is third of july saturday and i am struggling because i'm having my first vaccine today and some of you may know i'm actually terrified of needles so i'm kind of trying to come to terms with i'm getting up to go and get a vaccine and it's really hard so my anxiety is like quite high at the minute and yeah but i just need to get up my appointment is at 12 45 it's currently half 10. i'm gonna get into the shower and then it's gonna take us about 45 minutes so we'll leave here around 12. and then i'm gonna get my nails done afterwards hopefully that will help relax me but whatever um, currently on my way to the vaccine place. Mum is driving me. Obviously, my mum can't come in with me, but she's gonna take me. So I, she's there when I'm done. Um, she's laughing at me, but I'm yeah, I'm scared. But I'm just gonna do it and just cry. <laughs> Make sure to wear. Um, jab appropriate clothing so my arms are out um, so it's easy access <laughs> I'm just nervous I feel like I just feel like I don't know what to say because I'm really nervous and I'm trying to like put myself in the right mindset that I'm about to allow someone to stick a needle in me and everyone says it doesn't hurt people say oh my god the flu jab is worse the flu jab is worse but I don't care it's not about the actual it's not about the pain it's not about it's just about someone has got someone else has that control over you. I don't know. I don't know. Give you a small prick. Give me a small prick, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Good morning everybody. <sighs> it is Saturday the 28th of August. It is a bank holiday weekend, so we get three days. <laughs> um which I'm very excited for. And um I have my second jab today. I have that today, which I'm nervous about. That's at, oh, and that's at five past one. And it's currently 11, so I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna go and have get some food. This is, I'm gonna have one of these, I think. So yesterday, my it was my colleague's last day at work, which is very sad, but she brought in this, um, this is honestly, if you ever get anything from this place, oh, you have to get the cinnamon social. So we had some left over, so she took half and I took the other half because, yeah, it's so good. So I might have some of that. And then when I come home, I also found this. That Mum got, I think these are from Costco. So I don't know what I fancy. I have got a cup of tea on, then I'm going to get ready because then after my flu jab, me and Mum are going to go to the cinema and eat somewhere because... I have a voucher that I got for my birthday. It's gonna run out in October, so I just want to get it sort of used. Okay, so I've decided on an Olenstein. I think it's Olenstein. I think that's how you pronounce it. Olenstein um, cinnamon swirl social and a custard crown. Ooh, my favourite. Um, it might seem like a lot, but I haven't had a vaccine today, so I need to make sure I'm fully, you know, prepped, bulked up, you know. And I've also got a cup of tea, which I'm going to sit down and enjoy. Oh my god. Please ignore the pile of clean clothes that I need to put away that I haven't got around to doing yet. Um, but it is a long weekend, so I am planning on getting this room... You know, I want to like clean the windows, I want to dust, I want to, you know, do proper, proper like, spring clean. Um, but anyway, it is the 20th of August, which means it is second jab day. <laughs> I really don't want it to be, but it is. Um, I'm currently, it's 5 to 11. Oh, I'm just brushing my teeth so that tasted weird. Um, and my appointment's at 5 past 1. Just doing my skincare. I was gonna put some makeup on, but I actually can't be bothered. And I know I'm just gonna cry, so what's the point? Actually, what is the point? Um, and then, yeah, I'm really 
I'm scared. I don't, I feel like I'm just stressing. I don't want to do it. Everyone says the second one hurts more. People have had well, like reactions to the second one. I don't know. I really just don't know. Um, I don't think I spoke about the last one. If I did, but obviously my last one was. Is that the 3rd of July? Um, so I had that, I went in. Um, I really started to get worked up when I was like in the, in the, so they, they take you in and then they make you wait while for like for a cubicle, a cubicle to be through. Um, I really just could I feel myself getting like worked up then. And I got sat into a cubicle and I'm like, trying to breathe, they're asking me questions. I can really feel my knee. I think he then started to notice and he's like, you okay? And I was like, yeah, just, you know, just I don't really like this. This is not like it. So I think he then went off to get me some water or something. And then the other guy that was sort of guiding people into cubicles noticed that I was emotional. So he came in and honestly, they were so lovely, the people that are in there. So hopefully I'll get the same today. Um, and he was obviously with in front of me and he was like, it'll be fine. Like, and obviously asking me if I, if I faint. I was like, no, I'm not faint. I've never been a fainter. So it's not like a case of that. And it's like, it doesn't hurt. I'm like, it's not the pain. It's not the pain that scares me. I can handle that. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's the someone else being in control. Someone sticking something in you, you know. Ooh. They finally did it. Obviously, they kept saying, take my mask off because I am need to breathe. I couldn't breathe. Um, So, like, he held my hand. It was really nice. Got me through it. And then with the Pfizer, you have to then sit for 15 minutes afterwards. They put the time on your thing and then you can leave. Which was annoying because all I wanted to do was go out and see my mum. But I had to sit there until the 15 minutes was up. <laughs> oh, it was just, it's horrible. It's just the worst. I'd much rather get it done now rather than later. And also apparently you meant to have like a booster. Like, is it just going to be a life full of injections now? Oh, it's just horrible. I just don't like, so I, I don't know. I don't even have to explain it. I don't even like them. But I just feel like my life's going to be full of them now. <sighs> I'm scared. But. I can push for it. I just got to. Just think about it. By two o'clock it will be over. So. Until I have to have a booster. And my flu jab this year. Just leaving now. Um. <laughs> I've got barely any petrol, so I need to get some petrol first. So let's hope my car gets me there. Oh. Oh. Mum's coming with me, so um, probably won't film in the car, but I'm in the car on my way. Let's hope my car gets me to the petrol station. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Just had my jab, as you can see I got my sticker. There's Christmas cards in card factory. Oh. I always like the ball boy, I was like, oh my god, there's a Robin one. to the cinema we watched three guy and then me and mum went to pizza express and i had a post um palo pesto which why can't i speak i had a palo pesto which is my favorite which i love um it's been chilling downstairs just watch scrolling through tiktok aimlessly um and i've just made myself a cup of tea oh, just made myself a cup of tea and half of a muffin mum's got the other half i'm gonna sit up here and read some of this book which i'm only like i haven't really got very far i think when i'm i think in my, i think i'm like still on like chapter two or halfway through maybe chapter three i can't remember so i want to get through a lot of this today that's my aim it's half seven so i want to read i want to get over halfway by the end by the time i go to bed i haven't even got that page yet 
my arm <laughs> is like so dead. This is it right now. It's quarter past nine the next day. And I Mummy, I don't make your coffee with hot water. I make it with a small amount of hot water and the rest of it hot milk. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, but you don't complain. I give it to you all the other times. You don't like tea. You don't like any really, any really hot drinks, okay? But you don't like your coffee strong, okay? So when I make it for you, I have to make it with a lot of milk. But then that makes coffee too cold. So I have to warm the milk up so the hot the drink's at least hot. A lot of effort goes into me making you a drink. Appreciate it. Now look, it's 20 past, 20 past 10. Ow, and I'm just giving an update on what it currently looks like. It actually looks like a nap bite, like I've been bitten. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it is quite risen very sore to touch so um currently just keeping my eye on it and just seeing how it looks i feel fine though i feel completely fine so just with the dead arm anyway i'll probably check in tomorrow hello just thought to give you an update um this is my arm currently I don't want to expose myself but this is my arm currently um the arm doesn't feel like it's dead. Like if I lift it, it it's, it's achy, but only in that area. Um, this is still like swollen. It doesn't, it's not as sore to touch. It's a bit obviously tender and it's just itchy. Cause so I just gave it a Google and it's called COVID arm. COVID arm, where um, it says that if you've got COVID arm on your first jab, you should still go and get your second jab at the recommended um, time and then but just let the person know that you had it and then they would do it in the opposite arm but this is my second jab my first jab was completely fine so who do I tell if I just sit here just let it does it go away I said just take an antihistamine so I might take an antihistamine and we'll see so yeah so that's an update on that on today <laughs> hey it's a couple of weeks later and I'm just editing this video and I just want to let you know that um my arm had completely cleared up by I think the Thursday so I think we had bank holiday Monday I went into work Tuesday it was a little bit there on the Wednesday but it was completely gone by Thursday so um it was just um a bit sore swollen tender and itchy for a couple of days and then it cleared up so that's fine and yeah but um just want to say thank you for watching this was my covid vaccine video um and hope you enjoyed <laughs>